FantasyAnime.com Hello, this is the webmaster of FantasyAnime.com. So one of the features that my website offers is that every RPG that I have shrined has a complete collection of periodical game saves, meaning you can continue an RPG at any significant point in the game. This is so that if your computer crashes or for any other reason you lose your saved position in an RPG, thanks to my saves, you can continue pretty much where you left off. Isn't that great? Anyway, in this tutorial, I will precisely show you how to use the Super Nintendo game saves that are available in my FantasyAnime.com for SNES 9X, Z SNES, and even Android emulators. So here is my SNES 9X folder, and for this tutorial, I'll be using Chrono Trigger and one of my Chrono Trigger game saves. Now, I have WinRAR installed, so your zip file won't quite behave as mine is. Uh, by default, Windows uses compressed folders to handle zip files. And to use a compressed folder, it works the exact same way as a regular folder. You just double click on the folder and you copy or drag out the file. So, let's do that. Dragging over the game save. And I am moving it to the saves folder where all the saves belong in snx 9 x and uh, you see the .srm file extension uh, you're probably not seeing that on your end by default Windows hides file extensions so to unhide them you press the alt key on your keyboard to bring up the folder options you click on tools click on folder options click on the view tab and in the advanced settings area you'll have an option for hide extensions for known file types. Remove the check from there and click on apply and OK. And you should now see the .srm for the save file. The next step is to rename the save file with the exact file name as the ROM. So to do that, I am going to pretend to rename the Chrono Trigger ROM. And I'm going to copy the file name. And going back to the saves folder, and I am renaming it, and I am pasting the exact file name as the Chrono Trigger ROM. So now that the save and the ROM have the same file name, I'm going to test it to see if it works. So double clicking on senx9x.exe, going to File, Load Game, double clicking on the ROM. The game starts. I am pressing start. And there we go. There are all the game saves. And now for ZSNES. So here is my ZSNES folder. I have here the Chrono Trigger ROM, the game save zip file, and a zip file with ZSNES save states for Chrono Trigger's endings. So when it comes to using game saves between SNES 9X and ZSNES, the only difference is that in ZSNES you do everything in the same folder. And I shall do that now to show you how to use game saves with it. I am dragging out the game save file. And just like with SNES 9X, I am pretending to rename the ROM. And I am renaming the game save file. And there we go. The ROM and the game save file have the same exact file name. Now to test it with ZSNES going to load. I am loading the Chrono Trigger ROM. It is loaded and I have pressed enter. And there we go. There are the game saves. And now for the save states. Using ZSNS save states is a different process. Now don't get confused between SRN game saves and emulator save states. The SRN game saves are internal saves within the game when you save at a save point. ZSNES save states are created when you use the save state feature of ZSNES, which can save your position at any point in a game, whether it's an RPG or not. But as great as that sounds, I try to avoid distributing ZSNES save states only when they're absolutely necessary, like for game endings, because ZSNES save states only work with ZSNES, as opposed to SRN game saves, which work with every Super Nintendo emulator including Super Nintendo emulators on iOS and Android devices. Anyway, so here's how to use them. To begin with, I need to give you a quick tutorial about save states so that you understand where they come from. 
So I'm going to open up ZSNES and I'll show you where they are. And here they are. Save state, open state, pick state. But at the moment they are shaded out because a game is not loaded. So I shall load Chrono Trigger. And the game is loaded. And they're active now. So save state lets you save the state that you're currently at. Open state lets you open that state. And pick state lets you choose between 10 different slots for 10 different save states. Uh, most emulators that offer save states let you choose between slots as well. So this is a familiar interface if you're a, an avid emulation enthusiast. And I want to show you something a little tricky with these slots. These slots have different file extensions. And when you open my zip file with all the Chrono Trigger endings, you see that uh, there are different extensions for the 10 different slots. And to illustrate which one goes where, I put together this quick image for you. See that ZST is the first slot, and ZS9 is the 10th slot. So to use one of these game states, I am going to pull out uh, the sixth one, which I already pulled that one out. And I'm going to rename it to the exact file name as the Chrono Trigger ROM. Let's see, rename, paste the exact file name, and it has the exact name. So now to open up ZSNES. I am going to load the Chrono Trigger ROM, and the ROM is loaded. And now I'm going to pick state number six. It's picked, and now I'm going to open state. Yes, load state, and I'm pressing escape. And is this the ending? Aha! It is. So that's how you use emulator save states. So getting game saves to work with Android emulators. Uh, to begin with, the emulator that I've been using thus far on my Android smartphone has been Yang ZH's Super Nintendo emulator, which you can download from my website. So I have my smartphone hooked up to my computer right now, and I have my Super Nintendo ROMs folder open. And let's work with Tales of Fantasia for this tutorial. So the Young ZH Super Nintendo emulator saves its saves as SAV for save. And I have over here one of my Tales of Fantasia game saves. So I am going to extract that. And as I told you about earlier in this tutorial, about uh, getting file extensions to show because it's important for you to see the .srm for the game save file. So I am going to pretend to rename this just so that I can highlight and copy the exact file name as the SAV and I am going to rename this SRM including the file extension SAV. Yes, I want to change the file name extension. And then I'm going to drag it over to my smartphone. Yes to replace. And that's it. That's all you need to do. So when I open up the Super Nintendo emulator on my Android smartphone, I'll have that Tales of Fantasia save coming up. And that concludes my tutorial on using the Super Nintendo game saves and save states available in fantasyanime.com. If you have any further questions, the fastest way to reach me is to contact me via fantasyanime.com when you click on contact. If you message me here on YouTube, you may not get a prompt response. Anyway, enjoy the saves! Yay!